The second half of lesson 14 is the final group of exercises addressing single independent strokes splitting the manual. In this first exercise, 14.3, both mallets, one and three, will be on an E flat and move to an F. Mallets two and four will be on a B flat and move to a C. Because mallets one and three are moving from an E flat to an F or a pull motion, and mallets two and four are moving from a B flat to a C, also in a pull motion, you're going to want to stay at a parallel right position for the first half of this exercise. In the second half, you will want to be at a parallel left motion because at that point you will be working on a push motion, moving from the lower manual up to the upper manual. Point four, the same concepts. This time, instead of moving in a stepwise motion up the instrument, we're going to move in a stepwise motion down the instrument. You will be at a parallel left position throughout the first half of the exercise and move to a parallel right position for the second half. If you like, as an added technique to this exercise, a challenge would be to combine measures one and two. So you play them in octaves, and then you play mallets two and four in octaves. This would actually make the exercise twice as short, but it would be a really good exercise in practicing parallel motion. <laughs> 